Man, dude, you know, me as a breeder, I don't know if you guys know this, but you know, for all the breeders as well, there will always be people, literally, that will come back and uh, blame you or say that it is your fault that they have a dog that has problems, man. And uh, yeah, let me, let me give you guys an example of why I do contracts. Always, you know, most of the time I do contracts, right? So, let me give you an example. So, uh, yeah, I sold uh, this, this uh, one person, okay? I'm just gonna say one person. I actually bought a female for me like a long ass time ago, man. Long ass time ago. And uh, this one I sold the female when she was pretty, pretty young. Uh, just over the pup, you know, the whelp puppy's age. So just to just say it like a good age, right? And then, uh, yeah, he, the person now tells me that the female has got pyometra now. And uh, yeah, if you guys do not know what pyometra is, I'll tell you guys what pyometra is, right? Before you stop blaming shit on me, before you start saying that it is my fault as a breeder that I gave you an ill dog, first of all, you gotta know what the hell pyometra is first and how it's developed. Let me tell you guys what pyometra is, right? Pyometra is pretty much an infection of the uterus in the uterine horn, right? Pyometra can only develop within only four or to eight weeks after the heat season. So, and let me tell you guys this right now, man. I sold, I sold the puppy long, way before she had her heat cycle. Before, yeah, before her first heat cycle. So you cannot blame that shit on me. Also, Okay, so getting back on with pyometra. Pyometra is pretty much, you know, as an infection to the uterine, to the uterus. So it develops after four to eight weeks. And uh, yeah, so, and uh, you know, symptoms of it. You can see like pus coming out. It depends whether it's open, uh, whether it's closed or open. Pyometra, pyometra is just bad, all right? Pyometra can actually fatally kill your dog. If you don't get it, you know, treated ASAP or if you don't get it removed because, you know, it's just so big and failed that it pretty much just kills her. It limps her, it makes them weak, it pretty much kills them, right? So, the female has to go through a spay. You, they have to get it removed from going through an ovarian hysterectomy. You have to go through all that shit. So, therefore, the person cannot breed the dog no more. And obviously, you know, when people buy females, they want to get into the breeding game. They know that the breeding game, does, you know, it can't make money because that'd be successful fit. So, yeah, man, it's, you cannot just blame that shit on me, man. If it was like way long before, man, because here's the thing, man. The dog was actually, you know, shipped over, right? And for a dog to be shipped over, they have to get a wellness exam. Wellness exam, they they check, uh, they pretty much check the dog's health if the dog's all good before you know it can fly over, right? And you know this is this is what I really want to tell you guys because there will always be people. If you guys are into breeding, there will always be people who will always try to blame shit on you or try to come back to you and possibly want a refund, which is why. I do a refund. No, I don't do a refund. I will only do a refund, you know, if there's actually really something wrong, but, you know, but within a certain amount of time though, that's that's the thing. So, but um, yeah, I, I do not do those contracts, no, but that was a long time ago. Those contracts are still bounded to me, but uh, as of right now, those contracts are all gone now. Everything's all expired. So not to say that contracts expired, but part of the contracts expired. So here's the thing, right? If you're gonna always sell a puppy, right? I I want you to know that you want both parties to be safe. For me, for example, I want you as a, as the buyer to be safe. Me as the seller, the buy, the breeder, I want to be safe as well. I don't want to be in court and shit, you know, and deal with all this shit, dude. I'm only I'm only 21, dude. I don't even want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't even know how to you know get into that. This is why I do contracts, either written contracts or. Uh, you know, recorded contracts is what I recommend the most. So here's the thing, right? So the contract is supposed to, you know, 
to protect you, for, to, to protect us both. You always want to do a contract, you know, because <laughs> you don't want to get into that shit and, and it, it's miserable. I, I can tell it's miserable to, you know, to be put in that position, you know, and, and it sucks. It really does suck. And, you know, pop. You know, Biometra, it happens on the quarter chance of dogs. Let me tell you guys that right now. Uh, get back on Biometra. Biometra, it, you know, my uncle breeds dogs too as well. And his female just recently had Biometra too. And she had to get spaded. He's still keeping her. You know, he loves her. So, yeah, man, it, it's just it's just part of the breeding game. that You just have to know. Biometra does happen. So, man, it's... You know, please, you know, know your facts first before you start blaming shit on me. Please, you know, it's like, really? You know, I have that shit to back up. You know, I even have the contract to back that up. I even have the evidence to back that up. You know, it, it's just like, are you serious? Like, really? Like, you know, if that happens to me, right? And I know about the symptoms of the disease, I will not blame, I wouldn't even blame the breeder. This is the reason why I, I do a wellness exam or physical checkups with my contract, right? So my contracts are pretty much like, all right, so you got within uh, pretty much today or tomorrow, right? With the day within purchasing the dog to do a one exam or a physical exam with your personal vet, right? Not with my vet, with the vet that you go to. And I want you to make sure that the dog's all good before you, know, you wanna buy the dog, right? Or if they did buy the dog, okay, then you go check it. And if, this, if there is something wrong, right? If there is something wrong, you can turn the dog back in with me. I'll give you back the money, or I give you a, I'll give you another pup instead. You know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And get a notarized too. Get a notarized. Notary guys, notary is pretty much just a, uh, just a, just a stamp on the contract by somebody that is a witness there to pretty much. Um, to keep it 100% proof and sealed and say everything's all good. This is this is legit. So that's pretty much it, man. So let me let me tell you guys that there will always be people like that when it comes with in the breeding game, and uh, they will blame shit on you, dude. I'm only 21, and you know first you know your facts about what the hell pyometria is and what the hell the disease or infections of what that ever that shit is, please. Before you start blaming shit on me, man. <laughs> and second of all, keep yourself safe of all times. Whether you're the seller or the buyer, please. You know, guys, I, with me, I want to be a responsible breeder. And that's my, that's my job to be a responsible breeder. I am no backyard breeder. And it's the thing that comes in today, man. That's what makes us have a bad rep about us now. And I want to tell you guys, man, I love these dogs so much. Look at that, they're all chilling. I love these dogs so much. And that's the only thing that I want within me, you know, just to be a responsible breeder. That's it. To, you know, to present to you guys, you know, the best quality dog in your life. And to have, you know, to enjoy your life with them. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. What I wanted to say to you guys, man, just, just stay safe. Stay safe, do contracts, get them notarized, you know. Stay safe within, you know, even if you're buying the dog, then that's pretty much it. Even selling the dog, you know, you don't want shit to come back to you. You know, don't do ever do some shady ass shit. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Cause if the dog has problems, let them know beforehand. All right, that's pretty much it. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys too. So you can pretty much make your own contracts with whatever you want to say. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it y'all. So love y'all, peace. Here we go, go, go. See you.